Hey everybody, what's happening? It's Sarah Bunny, and today my video is going to be on a ba the basics of an adult rabbit diet. This means rabbits seven months and up. So we're gonna base. I'm gonna base this information off the Rabbit Food Pyramid from the House Rabbit Society or Rabbit.org, and I give all the credit to them. First, the first thing in a rabbit's diet is unlimited grass hay. Here I have a picture of a some hay. You're only hop, you're supposed to have grass hays, which include timothy, orchard grass, oat hay, and bro. Sometimes they'll have that in it. I don't really know what those are. Those are just like what seeds come in. I usually take them, I sometimes take them out because I really, that freaks me out. Um, because they're kind of gross. <laughs> they look like caterpillars. But your hay should be green and very springy. And you want it, and some rabbits like the grassy hay that are like really thin. But my rabbit prefers this really, really bulky, almost like, not like very completely amazingly fresh hay but they should be green or yellow depending on if it's aged or um, new. There's also first cut and second cut. First cut is better but your rabbits might get picky so if you, it also costs a lot more so if your rabbits get picky um, you might want to start off with second cut. The next thing that is very important in your rabbits diet is vegetables. A variety of fresh greens daily. So here I just have some different vegetables. I have romaine lettuce. I have spinach and just spring greens. And that would be about the daily ration of vegetables. So some leafy greens that are good to give every day because they're low in oxalic acid are carrot tops, cucumber leaves, endive, acarol, frizzy lettuce, kale, mochi, red or green lettuce, romaine lettuce, spring greens, just to name a few. And some non-leafy vegetables, no more than 15% of the diet, are carrots, broccoli, Edible flowers, celery, bell peppers, and Chinese pea pods, just to name a few. So vegetables are really important because they make up for some of the nutrients that hay doesn't have. After vegetables, we have pellets. Pellets are actually optional. You need a high quality pellet with no seeds or dry fruits. Um, I will be making a video on good brands of pellets and how much to give, but basically one fourth a cup is about what you want to give. But as I said, pellets are optional, but if you're not going to give pellets, you're going to have to really look into how what else you need in a rabbit's diet that's going to help it make up for all the pellets that are lost. So make sure you do that. Lastly, we have treats. Treats include anything from store-bought, which aren't as good, to fruit, such as apples, and actually carrots, etc., tomatoes. All those kind of things are treats, and they shouldn't be given every day. The natural ones, like apples, can be given about three times a week, but depending on what they are and how high the acid level is, but the store-bought treats, should, depending on what they are, maximum of once a week, or you can give them once a month about, or twice, every two weeks. So, on the rabbit food pyramid, they also have definite no-nos. These are foods that should not be given at any time. No chocolate, poisonous, cookies, crackers, breakfast cereal, yogurt drops, pasta, bread, and most human treats should never be given to them. The 
last component of a rabbit's diet is water. Of course, they're going to need water all the time, and this can be given in a crock or in a bottle. It's actually, if you live, if your rabbit is an outside rabbit, not in a shed, in a hut, it might actually be better to give it in a water so it's not water bottle, so it's not spilling everywhere. But if they do live in a shed or if they live inside or in a garage, then actually a water crock is more natural for the rabbit. So if you get a water bottle, make sure you get a good quality one that's easy for your rabbit to drink out of. And monitor the amount of water your rabbit is drinking so you know that they're actually drinking enough. There are tips you can get from your vet. So your rabbit is drinking enough water like you can put this, I'm not a vet, so this is not like, don't do this. Just ask your vet. You can put like some, a little tiny bit of fruit juice or tiny bit of sugar or put a little salt on their vegetables or actually I always serve my vegetables wet just to make sure my rabbit's getting enough water. So that's basically the basics of a rabbit diet. I can do videos on each of the subtopics. I really hope you enjoyed my video today. Um, the question of the video is, what type of hay do you feed your rabbit? And a lot of you are probably going to answer Timothy, just saying. So, keep hopping with Sarah Bunny. Thanks for watching. Bye.